In Florida, there are also two very important statewide races coming up on November 8th. Incumbent Governor Ron DeSantis faces Democrat Charlie Crist. Senator Marco Rubio faces Congresswoman Val Demings as he defends his Senate seat. Catholic News Agency, Fox News, and even the Associated Press are seeding that Florida may no longer be considered a pivotal swing state this year. Governor DeSantis has been broadly praised for his response to the coronavirus pandemic and, more recently, his ability to to quickly provide aid to Southwest Floridians in the wake of Hurricane Ian. Polling in Florida has found support for DeSantis even in traditionally blue counties. For example, polls from the consulting firm Public Communications Group based in South Florida and others are saying that DeSantis is almost sure to win in Miami-Dade County, which has been a Democratic stronghold for the past two decades. And joining me now to talk about this more is Marilyn Musgrave, former Congresswoman and Vice President of Government Affairs at Susan B. Anthony, Pro-Life America. Marilyn, thanks for joining me today. Great to be with you. We have to be careful about making too many assumptions about polls, mm -hmm. but Republicans in Florida seem to be feel feeling pretty confident right now. So talk to me about how much the issue of abortion has impacted what's going on in that state. Well, things are looking very good and it's encouraging. And we have two candidates uh, for governor and for Senate that are doing a wonderful job talking about life, talking about being pro-life and pointing out the extremism of the other two candidates. Right, and, and Marilyn, how much do you think Governor DeSantis's recent leadership, particularly on the life issue, is helping his campaign? Well, I think it is shoring it up with a base. And it's very amazing when people go door to door and point out the extremism of Charlie Crist. Uh, people are appalled. Uh, they, they can't imagine anyone being that extreme on this issue. And we know that Charlie Crist uh, was a co-sponsor and voted for the so-called Women's Health Protection Act. If there was ever any bill misnamed, that was the one. Uh, the Women's Health Protection Act would be better called Abortion Up to the Moment of Birth Act. Charlie Crist has a 100% voting record with Planned Parenthood, with NARAL. He is very pro-abortion, and Governor DeSantis is doing a great job of pointing that out. And, you know, one of the beautiful moments in the debate for me was when Ron DeSantis said, we're all better when everyone counts. And, you know, when you think of that uh, in our society, when everyone is valued, whether they're unborn, whether they're infirm, whether they're elderly, when they're valued, we're all better. I love that line. Yeah, really beautiful. And Senator Rubio faces Val Demings as he works to defend his Senate seat. Could you speak to Congresswoman Demings' record on abortion? And, and was there anything from their debate that stuck out to you in particular? Well, first of all, Senator Rubio is very comfortable in his skin talking about being pro-life. He's 100 percent pro-life. And he just goes after it. And again, we have a congresswoman here who co-sponsored the Abortion on Demand Up to the Moment of Birth Act. You know, they talk about how it would uh, codify Roe. No, no, go much further than Roe v. Wade. And she co-sponsored that legislation. And she, too, has a 100 percent voting record with Planned Parenthood and NARAL. She's very pro-abortion. And, you know, in the debate, uh, both Charlie Crist and Val Demings tried to act like they weren't that extreme on the issue. But both Governor DeSantis and Senator Mark Rubio pointed out very clearly how extreme these two people are on the life issue. Mm. We have about 90 seconds left. Marilyn, talk to me about SBA Pro-Life America's footprint in the state of Florida specifically. What are your canvassers hearing from voters in the final days of the campaign? Well, first of all, we've already reached 550,000 voters. And, you know, Prudence, one of the things I like best is the stories that our canvassers tell. They talk about meeting Maria, who at 15 was pressured to have an abortion. Mm -hmm but she defended her baby, had him at 20 weeks, and now he's an adult. She and her husband will always vote pro-life. And another encouraging thing to me was when one of our canvassers talked to a voter named Charlie. He thought he was pro-abortion, but when he started hearing how extreme the other side is, abortion on demand up to the moment of birth, 
paid for by your tax dollars, he decided he was pro-life oh. and would vote that way. Praise God. These are fantastic stories, and it's so important to hear them. They're really encouraging. Thank you for sharing them. Marilyn Musgrave of SBA Pro-Life America, and thanks, as always, for joining us. Good to be with you.